and welcome back to Brick Therapy. I'm Steve. I hope you're all having a glorious day today. So today I just wanted to go ahead and show you the progress of my uh, remodel of my uh, hospital mock. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get right down to it. Okay, so this is the lower section of the hospital. This is the bottom floor. And so... Uh, let me get a little bit closer here and as you can see it's not totally done yet I still need to get a bunch of dark bluish gray tile to go along here for the sidewalk uh, this is the area that comes off of the uh, police station it'll come over here uh, people will walk from the sidewalk from the police station right on to here uh, this is going to be where uh, people can go ahead and enter uh, right into these doors here to go right into the elevator and staircase shaft, which I will be building separately. And that's because uh, that is going all the way down to that uh, subway section down below, as well as uh, being able to go all the way up through the hospital. It's easier. I want to be able to, to leave the the uh, workings of the elevator and everything at the uh, uh, on the other part of the layout just so that I, I can leave it more stationary I don't have to move it around so much uh, but this section I want to be able to pull out so uh, anyway uh, this is uh, the main entrance here uh, and as you can see I've got a sliding door here uh, that goes into the main entrance uh, for when you're walking in and you go ahead and check in with this lady over here and she will go ahead and uh, let you know as to whether you need to go ahead and sit in this waiting room over here for the emergency room or if you need to check in elsewhere up uh, in the hospital <clears throat> so over here is the waiting area I've got a child there bugging his dad for some uh, change for the soda machine uh, waiting on uh, their uh, the, for the wife and other child uh, in the emergency room at the moment uh, and over here uh, I've got a couple sitting here it looks like um, a construction guy that uh, or a painter maybe or something uh, he, anyway he, he got uh, injured there uh, it looks like so he's waiting on some prescriptions it looks like at this time and over here is the pharmacy and as you can see there's a bunch of pills there on the wall there for our bottles excuse me not necessarily pills but bottles of some kind of medication uh, and you can see she is working on fulfilling a uh, prescription as we speak uh, you can see that there is a window that she can slide open and let the people know that their prescription is ready to be picked up I have a doorway here this goes right into the utility room right over here and as you can see there is a bunch of items in here for storage such as a uh, more syringes uh there's also some groundskeeping uh items such as brooms and shovels uh and different type of uh equipment that they might use uh at the hospital or for maintenance and that kind of thing uh there you can see there's some uh scissors as well as some uh more casters for the gurneys because sometimes those would break off you know so they've got to re be able to replace those so uh this is the doorway that leads out to where the train passes by and this is so that they can get uh deliveries right directly from the train itself over here you will see this is the emergency area here the actual emergency rooms and so you'll see that there is three different areas for uh, patients to be in while they are uh, getting patched up or whatever needs to be done. As you can see, this gentleman over here looks like he got hurt as, at work as well. Maybe it was the same job as the other gentleman. And he uh, looks like he's got his head bandaged up. 
and you can see the doctor is on its way over here to see the uh, the mother and child that came in uh, with the child being sick and they want to verify that that the baby is okay at the moment and so over here you will also see that in the emergency room there is a lady at this desk here and she uh, checks on these pa patients here as well as lets new patients know that they're ready to be seen by going through that doorway there <clears throat> there is a this area here is going to be for the emergency room or excuse me the emergency ambulance uh and such uh those type of vehicles so the the ambulance and the helicopter i believe uh will also be over here in this section over here um and they will be able to just go uh right into the emergency room without having to go through everything else in the front lobby uh let's see what else so again let me let me discuss uh this plate here so this is going to be a plate out here as you can see there's this three studs that i had to leave blank and that's because there is a bit of an overlap between where uh the diner is and where the hospital will be and so it overlaps just a tad bit so i needed to leave that space there but that plate uh, that's going to be right here is going to be the parking space for the ambulance. And I will do that separately from this build, uh, along with the elevator and staircase build will be separate as well. Uh, so what else on this floor? What did I miss? Oh, yes, I always seem to... This was something I almost forgot about and then I couldn't find a spot to put for is a restroom on the first floor. Uh, I managed to find a little, and I do mean absolutely little, space here for a restroom. It literally only has the toilet and the sink and toilet paper, and that's it. That is all that is in that little room. Uh, so with that being said, I believe that is all that I needed to show you on this build so far. Uh, I hope you are enjoying this build. Please do like, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, please comment below as to what you think uh, about this build so far. I think it's turning out pretty good. Uh, there are some areas you will see that I've got some missing uh, tiles, and that's because I do not have tiles or anything to go in that place that would be the right color and size. So. Uh, there are a few that I need to work on and get fixed. Uh, once once I get done with the hospital, I'll create a list of parts I need to to finish it off. Uh, well, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take this video out for now. And I hope you all are going to have a wonderful rest of the day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.